Hey Floss Tube! It is Kate the Cleaner Starts and it is Monday, March 26th. I hope everyone had a very nice weekend. I got to go to my LNS on Saturday. Got to meet up with all those fabulous people. Always lots of fun to, uh, to sit and stitch and talk and shop and all that fun stuff. So, uh, today's video is just the haul, just the happy mail, whatever you want to call it. I like happy mail best. Um, even when I pick it up at a store, it's still happy mail because it had to arrive in the mail somehow. But, sorry, I'm having all the itchies today. Um, so yeah, this is just the happy mail portion of my catch-up videos. So if uh, you don't want to see the happy mail, that's fantastic. I'll see you on the next video, which is just the whips. So, uh... Otherwise, we'll get started. I am not going to show my Nashville Market Happy Mail, simply because I already did. Um, uh, uh, Katie the Stash Queen put up the video. We filmed it at Panera. So if you want to see the Nashville Market Happy Mail I got, go watch that video. It's a, it's a riot. I even watched it. Um, and I never watch my videos, but it, it, it was a riot. We, we had a great time. But anyway, other than that, this is everything else. And some things I'm not going to go into too much detail with, only because you've probably already seen them. Someone else's video. Uh, this is, you know, a couple months worth of Happy Mail. Which is quite a bit for someone who's supposed to be doing Stitch from Stash. Kind of bombing on that one. I'll try again next month. So, anywho, all the pretties. We'll start with Floss, simply because that's the closest. By the way, Rupert is not here. Uh, he's kind of mad at me. He's not talking to me because I forgot to bring him out for the last Floss Tube video. And I also kind of forgot to bring him on Saturday. He's not talking to me right now. So, he's mad. That's okay. Alright, first up, got my Color and Cotton Floss of the Month. You've probably already seen these. Barbie Petal Pusher showed them. Uh, I've seen them in Mania. So I think I'm the last person to get them, not because of color and cotton, it's my mail carrier, honestly. So here we go. We have Leprechaun, Verbena, Miami, Wisteria, and Flamingo. Pretty, pretty bright colors. All right, I got... This is my, I think this is my last Fiberlicious Threads. Um, I went ahead and stopped my Fiberlicious Thread of the Month and Fabric of the Month for now. For now. Okay, so these were the last batch I got from them. We have Hyacinth Bouquet. Autumn Tree. Irish Coffee, Buttercup, and Enchanted Wood. So, they do have very pretty flosses. Okay, these here were the last color and cotton threads I got. So, you can tell this is from last month. And, see, to the point where I only have three left because I've already grabbed them for other projects. So, but I have Wildwood, Dried Sage, and Fresh Wool. Those haven't made their way onto a, a project yet. Oh, seriously? I left a pile of stuff over there. Anyway, I'll get up and get it in a second. All right, I got two shipments of nest egg floss from Trisha at Three Owl Threads. Another subscription I've had to put on hold for a little while. But anyway, those pretty weeks colors. We have Banana Popsicle, Begonia, go through these really fast, Baby's Breath, Bayberry, Baked Apple, 
Battleship, Beehive, Hazel, Bark, and Beachcomber. So, I have a lot of the B's now, all the A's and some of the B's. Okay, actually, I think I have all the B's because this was the last one. I think this is the rest of the B's. Blackberry, my absolute favorite. Bermuda. One at a time, folks, here. Berry Splash. Bethlehem. Blue Aster. I think it's a flower. Blue Heron. Blue Fescue. Blaze. Love that one. It's bright orange. Blackboard, which is kind of a cool color. And beige. So, lots of pretty flosses. I need to have a serious uh, floss organizing day. So, all right. Don't feel like getting up right this second for that other bag. So, move on to fabrics. This was the uh, February fabric of the month from um, Fabrics by LJ. It's called Victoria. I get 14 count Ada. Isn't that pretty? Just a beautiful, it's a little more purple than it's showing. Um, like purples and pinks, but yeah, definitely a, a muted gray as well. So beautiful piece of fabric. This was the last Fiberlicious fabric I got. I'm not sure if that was a child or a cat. It's a squawk from out there. This is 28 Count Monaco in Persephone. Oh, I hear, I do hear Alex. She's up. Um, again, lots of greens and pinks and grays. Very pretty. This was a piece of fabric I bought from Dying for Cross Stitch. This is a 14 count opalescent Ada. It's kind of a buttery cream color. It's more yellow than tan. Hello, sugar. It's just a gray day here. I'm having a hard time with colors. I know you want to get up on the bed, baby, but I got all my stuff up here. I know. You tell me. I know. She wants to get up here. So, yeah, not getting any colors today. It's just no sun. But you can see the sparkles. You pretty? All right, this was the previous month of Fiberlicious Fabric of the Month before Persephone. I got Sweet Tea, which is, again, 28 count Monaco. This one's really pretty. They're all really pretty. What am I saying? But yeah, now that one's pretty, pretty true. Beautiful blues, a little bit of pinks mixed in. Very pretty. All right, this was the last uh, fabric of the month from Leslie that I got. Not this one. Um, this one. This other piece of fabric I got uh, is for a project that I'm trying to kit up. But anyway, this was the fabric of the month. This is Winter Sunset. I'm sure you've seen this. Uh, this is 28 Count Jobelin. Didn't even notice when I switched back to Jobelin. Uh, all right. Yep. Very pretty. Lots of pinks and purpley grays. Just letting you know, Spencer, seizure. Oh, is she okay? Yeah, she's good. She's got a... Poor thing. I'm letting Oreo out in the garage. I think he's kind of with it. 
Oh, one of our cats has been having seizures lately. Not sure why all of a sudden. Okay, so that was Winter Sunset. And the other piece of fabric I got is for a Cherish Teddy's uh, Nativity chart I've had forever. And just haven't been able to find the right fabric. I think it's going to work on this 32 count Jobelin in Marauder's Map. So gorgeous, isn't it? that I um I paid off a layaway from Brenda's Minders and more and got that in again a little while back um, I got some four by six grime guards for my my little Q-snap projects I have three of them three Q-snap projects so um just have a variety of grime guard covers whenever I feel the need to switch it out so I got peanuts Christmas Harry Potter, barbecue, frogs doing yoga, snow globes, stitching, and camping. Brenda has a fabulous selection of fabrics for grime guards and like I said she does four by six for me she does all different sizes she has a grime guard of the month club too so you should go check that out um oh I also gotten some minders I've picked a bunch off these cards so they're not all here this was my last uh, minder of the month from Brenda she also does those cute little sparkly leprechaun hat I think these, I think these two were um, also minders of the month. Might have been December and January. Flower and a sparkly snowflake. And then she tossed in a cute little snowman. Okay, the rest of these were from my layaway. Just very pretty sparkly angel and a crayon and a flower and a Santa with, with wiggly legs, just like the leprechaun I have. Globe and the freaked out cat. I love that. Just love the look on his face. There we go. And of course, the red sparkly crown, Mr. Potato Head, cute little snowman here, Mickey Glove, Cinderella, Snow Tree, Steampunk Butterfly, and the uh, it's just very cool, dark. Uh, door hanger with bat wings and a skull mask. I'm reserving this one for when I start the Plague Doctor. And I've gotten a shipment of minders from Molly at the Everyday Stitcher, who is celebrating one year in business. Yay! Awesome! Go check her out. She's having a great sale right now. Uh, these were the last ones I got. Again, I've picked off the board, so they're not all here. Lots of uh, chibi Disney. You know me and my Disney. Lots of Disney. Got some owls. Got some Halloween. Butterflies. Gaming. Uh, there's some more Halloween. Some Easter. Got some Easter. Ooh, I just picked up a chart from Stitch Niche on Saturday that that's perfect for. So she does the wood circles. Very nice. You should go check her out. Okay, that was all the minders. These are patterns. Probably the biggest, biggest piece. Um, trying to get all the Lizzie Kate series out there that I don't have that I want to stitch. I mean, there's so many Lizzie Kate charts, and there's just a bunch I don't. You know, they're cute, but I just don't need them. Don't mind me fussing with my hair. Um, but there are some that I just love. So I've been working on getting these. 
Uh, I had never really even, I think I had looked at the set and it just didn't appeal to me. And then I saw someone stitch the entire thing in one section with the free border that she provides on her website. And I said, I need that. So I got the Lizzie Kate uh, Seasons. Um, are they flippets? Yes, the Seasons flippets. Spring, autumn, get closer, winter and summer but i just love them all stitched together with the verse so very pretty my super sweet friend darla sent me a chart she uh she's always you know cleaning out her crafts and she'll, she'll send me anything that makes her think of me which is so sweet but she sent me this uh this magazine chart is from Cross Stitch and Needlework, March 2013, and it's called Stitching Hearts Together, I think. But she knows how I love bees and quilts. And, and just look at that. Isn't that sweet? Quilting stitches hearts together. Love that. Thank you, Darla. I picked up the... Halloween rules. Again, I have I have the Christmas rules. I have the Merry Christmas by, Christmas by the letter. This was the other series I really wanted to get was the um, the Halloween rules. So you have wear a costume and eat candy. Visit a haunted house and scarecrow. Carve. Uh, can't read backwards. Carve a pumpkin and stay up late. Mind your mummy and sit for a spell. Brew some fun and greet a ghost. And howl at the moon and didn't read that one. That's interesting. Interesting. This one has a, huh, okay. Um, anyway, this is Brew Some Fun and Greet a Ghost. This one has, uh, it's printed wrong. It's Howl at the Moon, but Greet a Ghost obviously is in the other one. So the other chart in here with Howl at the Moon is Be Spooktacular. Oh, very interesting. I got one with a, a misprint. Hmm, it happens. At least the, the chart inside is correct. <laughs> So, show those in a second. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm going to show you this. You'll, you've seen it a million times. Everybody stitched it. Um, you already saw I got the second one in the last video. But there's the first Farmhouse Christmas. I got that. I'm on the auto uh, order list at my LNS. I did get the, um, the matching needle minder, though. So, something a little different for me. I don't usually do that. Okay. Um, when I was there getting market charts at my uh, needlework shop, I forgot to get the new Heartstring Samplery chart, and I wasn't sure if they would have it, so I ordered it from Stitch and Frog, the, uh, the Prairie Sampler, Little House on the Prairie piece by Heartstring Samplery. So, made sure to get that. I love Beth's charts. I put in an order with Trisha at Three Owl Threads. She did her live video uh, with the new charts that she'd gotten in. Not new charts, but she'd gotten in an order of charts. But I got Paper Doll, Soda Stitch. Yes, go see Trisha at Three Owl Threads for your Soda Stitch charts. Paper Dolls. Movies in My Memory 2. This is the guys. I still need to get the girls. Teacup girls. I, I just love that. Just hanging out in the teacups, taking baths. And Santa's Village 1. 
I had also ordered a chart a little while back um, and gotten it. This is Little House. Just love the dollhouse and all the little people. And it's the details. It really is. So I love the, the mommy in the tub and the little boy standing next to her. The people out on their balcony. Just so cute. Um, I posted on Mania that I had picked up a bin of cross-stitch charts. You do not need to see the bathroom. Um, from a, a lady who was going to put them in the recycling bin. Older charts, but I figured, oh, I can't bear to see these all tossed. So I went and picked them up. Um, I took a stack. My friend Dawn took a stack. I took them to Stitch Niche on Saturday. Some people there took a stack. And then I left them with Debbie and Kim to go through, see if they wanted anything, see if they could find a home for them. But I did keep some. So I kept, love those country miniatures. And this was all free. I, it was just a free pickup from Marketplace. So, uh, so yeah, love those country miniatures. And there are a few things here I like. I think I'm definitely going to stitch. Uh, the coffee grinder, where is it? I saw it two seconds ago. Love the coffee grinder right there. Um, it says the same old grind, too. I love that. Um, just some super cute things in here. Ah, and the teapot, tea kettle with the sunflowers. So, a couple little things in there I like. Oh, that's by Dale Burdett. So, I, I, you know me, I like all the littles. Okay, this is Nationality Bears from Graphic Arts. Look at all those bears from all the different countries. And it says, love makes the world go round. This is from the Cricut Collection, Cross-Eyed Cricut. This is Cricut on the Hearth. And I don't know why this appealed to me, but it just did. Cricut on the Hearth. I know crickets bring good luck, so. And then I like this too. There's a chart of a popcorn and cranberry strand. Thought that was cute. Okay, this is from Counted Bead Embroidery, A Very Beaded Christmas. This is cool because it's they're just they're littles, but they're done all in beads. I thought these were really sweet. And um I don't think okay, it does give numbers. But I don't. They're not. They're not Mill Hill. They are. Okay, it says they're Mill Hill. But the numbers just don't look familiar. But regardless, I mean, you could do the beads in whatever colors you like. But I just thought that was that was really neat. This is Everglades cross stitch. Suzanne McNeil, I think. But love those flamingos and those tropical birds. Thought that was just really pretty. This is Genuine Alligator Book by Sherry Ann Designs. Again, just a couple of I think I'll do here, but Love the alligator sitting there reading. And when walking, go barefoot. The Christmas ones. There are some that are that are drinks. Make mine a double with a twist on the rocks, straight up. Little alligator on the phone. Something different. This is a Precious Moments book, but they're not the, the little girls and boys. They're the animals, which I had never seen. The Forever Friends. So it's like, ooh, Precious Moments animals. Aren't those precious? Ha ha ha. Bad pun intended, really. But look at that. Nothing can separate friends. Give what you can. Look at the patches on the cow's booty. I have 
no idea what that says backwards. You're so sweet from beginning to end. Look at that. And the kangaroo. Just, I just, yeah, you're worth your weight in gold. Look at that. These are just too cute. Keep looking up. Look at the frogs. But yeah, it's probably my favorite out of all the ones I got because that they're just precious. Okay. This is On Your Toes with Marty Lynx. It's a Heritage Series book, but uh, just ballerinas. And I have a, a little girl who wants to be a ballerina. Oh, we're still looking at the bathroom. This ships every time I... Okay, this is a Jeremiah Junction booklet that I didn't have. Um, and this one really called to me because it's booklet one. I have the very uh, first premiere issue of Cross Country Stitching Magazine. And so this one really called to me. I thought that was really neat couple things in here I will definitely be stitching. Bag for the Halloween shirts. <clears throat> and I snagged this one. Um, I do have this, but I got this for a friend. Jeremiah Junction, the Beatitudes. I do have, like I said, I do have this, but I, I grabbed that one for a friend. Uh, this is Very Thankful by Leisure Arts. Again, just some super cute teddy bear charts. Okay. This is Dear God Kids by Paragon Needlecraft. I, I, th this is just, kind of reminds me of the uh, Family Circus cartoons. I love that one with the colors. <clears throat> this is Blessings from Carolina Cross Stitch. And I really do like this. I think the only one that really calls to me, there's just some, uh, there's just a few band samplers in here. Not band samplers. Um, like just long bell pull type charts but I love this Christmas one right here um and I think all the all the words for Christmas I think I would do those in different colors and probably take out the pineapple uh maybe change up the colors on the house but I really like that so I think that's the only one I'm going to stitch out of here this is Mouse in the House by Leisure Arts and this one's adorable I love this one here. You can touch my dust, but please don't write in it. I tell the kids that all the time. Um, there's the cross-stitching one. I need a little love. Um, is there life after laundry? Color me beautiful. Just love those. This is Alpha Bears from Count on Cappy. It is so cute. Oh. There's another Cricut collection. This is alphabet samplers. Again, just just simple alphabet samplers, but you could have so much fun with different fabrics and different flosses with those. For his own from the Scarlet Thread. Very pretty. I like this one here. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I like that one. This is the Herb Book by uh, the Design Connection. But 
I just like the herbs and spice make everything nice. The, the alphabet, the herbs alphabet. I like that one. Sorry, there's the whole book. <clears throat> it says office offerings from Cross My Heart. Just some different work related ones. This this one I like. So coffee one for sure. Might be the only one I do. Maybe smile if your tail is a dragon. So this is beautiful. Marty Bell's uh, Devon Cottage. Just beautiful. Don't laugh. You know I love my geese. Gordon Fraser, a parade of favorites. You know I love my geese. Okay? Don't laugh at me. But there's other charts in here that are that are cute. I don't think I'll do the geese on the cover. Um, I love the cardinal here in the wreath. Love the little teddy bear playing dress up. And I really like this bucket of daisies. So. This is my little girl. Most of these are leisure arts, but this is my little girl, which I thought was just so precious. Just so sweet. There is a My Little Boy as well. I don't have that one, but I have girls, so just so sweet. This is Country Alphabet. Again, you know I love my alphabets. And we have the Designing Woman. Oh, counted cross stitch for the Designing Woman. But again, I, you know, I just... Here's the thing. Yes, it's an older book, but if there's something I'm going to stitch out of it, you know, it's it's worth it to me. I mean, I love, it's really the ones on the back that really got me. Well, they're inside, but Dare to be Different with the Penguins. Um, the Flutterby, oh, the Butterfly. No, it does say Flutterby. Okay. Yeah, goes wherever it pleases and pleases wherever it goes. Kind of a patchwork butterfly. But yes, I love that. Okay, for the sportsman from Leisure Arts. And I really just kept this for the fishing ones. Heather, here's another fishing one. See? Um, but yeah, there's, there's some, you know, fish jumping. There's fishing on the lake. There's, um... Yeah, there's some flies, bad day fishing, better than a good day at work. So, kept that one for the fishing. This is Gentle Thoughts from Dimensions. Just super sweet critters. Hang in there, love warms the heart. Friendship is the nicest gift. Oh, sweet. Love that mouse and the mushroom. Uh, this is Alma Lynn's Works of Heart, Merry Christmas. Beautiful angel there. Ow, it's great. My hips are bothering me. Oh, this is another Jeremiah Junction, Served with Love. Oh, no, this isn't Jeremiah Junction. Forgive me. Um, this is by Lynn Waters uh, Busa. Yeah, I have a bunch of hers. Graphic Arts. Cat's trying to get into the cat food. He's already eaten. But This is short and sweet. 60 miniature say sayings. Again, there may be only a couple out of here that really call to me, but I like it. There's lots of littles. 
quick finishes. Love that little turtle or a mouse talking to the bat, the, the butterfly. Tarleton Flat Studio, a lazy afternoon. Heather, again. Okay, pay attention. Fishing. It's all fishing. Okay, I grab the fishing books wherever I get them. Okay, this is Bordering on the Edge by Graphic Arts. And, you know, talking more about doing borders, but there are some really sweet charts in here that you could use for other things. Love the little cow. He says, love one another. There's an owl in here. It says, welcome to our nest. All right, this is the, this is for the love of cross stitch. Some teddy bears on the cover. And I think there was only, what was in here? Ah, these. I think the only reason I kept it was this, these charts right here. Little cozy cottage magnets. I love those. They're stitched on fabric here, but I'm I'm thinking perforated plastic, perforated paper. But um, this is September 1993. But I love those little houses. I picked this up from One Two Three Stitch. This is for my April 1st start next week. Uh, Four Calling Birds, Nora Corbett's Twelve Days of Christmas series. I still have to start day three. Um, didn't get that done this month. I told you I'm behind on starts. And then I got the uh, the same fabric that I'm using for the others. Got to trim all those threads off there. The uh, 28 count uh, Jobelin Lugana. Sorry, 28 count white opalescent Lugana. I'm doing all of the series on those. I'm going to pause this for, oh no, I got another pile. Okay. Yes, I have another pile. Um, I got to get the other one. I saw this on uh, Mania Stitched Up. I had never seen this blend in place before. And I ordered it from Stony Creek. But it's called Thistle Do Nicely. It's a Scottish version of the traditional Irish sampler. Just so pretty. Saturday I went to Stitch Niche, I told you, and uh, picked up a few things. I picked up a gift that I can't show you because I think she watches my channel. I did pick up the Lizzie Kate um, Smalls series she has, the seasonal ones. I got the Winter and the Autumn. Um, spring is coming out the end of this month be the last Lizzie Kate chart um, and then uh, they were going to order me summer as well and set aside the spring for me. This is the one I was telling you uh, that that one minder would be perfect for. This is Silver Creek Sampler. It's called And the Earth Sang. The names, I swear, sometimes. But anyway, I just love that. That's beautiful. That's a gift. And this is so cute. Prairie schoolers, bunnies, and chicks. Okay, first off, lots of little smalls. They are full coverage, which surprised me. But those little chicks and bunnies, they're felt. And they give you the, you know, the pieces on the back. You can cut felt. Look at that. I love the finishing just as much as I, as I do the charts. And then we stop by, I think that's, that's market. Okay, that's my market bag. Um, we stopped by Joanne's on the way home just to see if they had anything, any fabric on sale or anything like that. And I picked up, I picked up this kit. It's a Joan Elliott kit. Uh, so many tools. And I, I just, that's adorable. That's my husband. Okay. 
So I really just wanted the chart because I was like, okay, it's on white Ada, which is fine. You know, I love my white Ada, but Joan Elliott on these kind of charts tends to have a lot of fractionals. So I may switch out the fabric. The floss, you know, again, I may use the floss. I may not. I hate separating kit floss. I might just take this floss and put it with my uh, Million Stitches project and just use whatever colors I like. But it was the chart that really got me. And the whole kit was eight. So I'll use the fabric for something else. I'll use the floss for something else. Um, and I had a coupon for 50% off. So it was definitely worth it. And then Heather, who is oh so sweet as always. I love Heather. Um, but no, Heather, Heather is so sweet. You must go check out her channel, whose name I'm forgetting. But she's fantastic. But she's the one who organizes our get-togethers get at Stitch Niche. But she had done some uh, spring cleaning and brought in a lot of stitchy goodies that she just wasn't going to use anymore and passed them on to the next stitcher. So I, uh, I picked up a piece of Iris uh, 18 Count Ada from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And... A piece of Gina, again, hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. A little artiste kit, bicycle. This is the day the Lord has made. A Stony Creek booklet, Woodland Babies. I don't, I'm not going to put them on an afghan, and I think I'll probably end up stitching them individually. And I don't think I'll stitch them all, but just adorable. And then some cross stitch and needlework magazines. If, uh, if y'all want me to do a flip through of these, just let me know. But this is March 2013, July 2012, March 2012, May 2012, and September 2011. So, thank you, Heather. All right, I'm going to pause this one second and go get that other bag. Okay, I'm back. Um, you know I buy a uh, stash from Pam over at A Stitcher's Paradise. Yes. Not to be confused with the shop in Vegas, but it's A Stitcher's Paradise. The lovely Pam had a stitching shop for years. She closed it down back in 2012, and she's been unloading her, her supplies. So I've bought charts and fabric and threads and all kinds of goodies from her. Well, she was on a trip kind of just through the States, and I actually got to meet her. Drove over to Arlington, got to meet her and her husband. So nice. Pam, it was so nice to meet you. Um, but she had all of her Stitchmobile goodies with her, so I picked up a few things. Let's see, that was... Okay. No, not that one. Hold on a second. Because I... There's a method to my madness here. Okay. Picked up Stony Creek Cars of the 50s. That's a gift. Picked up uh, Shepherd's Bush, Scatter Snowflakes. Another Shepherd's Bush, 2,000 years ago. And it's, it's four littles about the, uh, the nativity. They're so cute. Um, picked up a Prairie Schooler Santa. Uh, 2013. That's that one. Picked up Kit and Bis blah, blah, blah. Kit and Bixby, not Biscuit. Bixby. Uh, this is Mrs. McKenna's farm. And I, I just look at the sheep in the house. And anyway, but that was cute. 
This is Nature's Alphabet 2 by Elizabeth's Needlework Designs. I'm going to be changing this up a little bit only because I do love this, but I, I always like it when the words are there, just in case I stitch it later and forget. Um, it says on the back what they all are, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is taking out the center border, giving them a little bit more space in between, and then putting the name of each item underneath the blocks. So I'll work on that. Another Elizabeth's Needlework Designs. This is Halloween. And another Elizabeth's Needlework Designs, Four Seasons Welcome. And another Elizabeth's Needlework Designs, Baba Black Sheep. And then, that's a gift. Um, she was so sweet. She gave me some bobbins, cardboard and plastic. And she gave me a book for a friend, which is a gift I can't show. All right. And then she has had a ton of floss. Um, which I made a note of what types of floss she has to buy later. Because, uh, so I picked up some floss that I haven't tried before and would like to. So this is Karen uh, Wildflowers. Kind of reminds me of the, um, the sulky thread, the 12 weight sulky thread on thickness. I picked up some Karen Watercolors, which again is, it's three ply, a little thicker, but the 12-weight um, the sulky is a little thin on the 14 count. I prefer it on 16 or 18 count. But this being thicker, each strand is a bit thicker, I think I can do that on 14 count. I think that'd be neat. Um, some regular treasure braid. Not petite, but regular. And then I picked up, she had three skeins. She had some little bit of dinky dyes. So... I picked up seagrass, cherry wood, and iron bark. I love dinky dice. Um, I don't remember. She told me that this is a silk. I don't remember what it was. She she gave this to me because it the tag fell off. We have no idea what it is, but it's pretty. And I also picked up. Um, I had oh one more. This is Karen Snow. Again, I figured I'd give that a shot. But I had ordered a couple things from her, um, on her on her Facebook group, and so she had brought those with me. That's not mine. Um, she had brought them with with her to give to me, so I didn't have to pay shipping. So picked those up while I was there. And this is Shepherd's Bush, Baba Little Sheep. I love that pin. So cute. And she always includes little freebies. Always does. So she included a bag of floss. And then this chart from Bright Needle called Rabbit's Garden Sampler. But, um... She had uh, shown these on her group, and I said, oh my goodness, those are adorable. And it's a three-part series, and she only had two of them. Yes, she only had two of them. So I said, ooh, let me see if I can find the first one. Or maybe she had one of them. She had one of them, sorry. She showed this one. It's Kit and Bixby Woolies 2. Look at that. A sheep for every month. But she didn't show them this one. And I said, oh, I love that. And she didn't have the other two. And I said, let me see if I can find them first. So I found them through, um, I just did a Google search. I found this little shop online that had them. And I got the other two. Woolies 1, which I don't know why Woolies 1 is September through December. It just is. And Woolies 3, which is May through August to go with my 
Woolies too. So I have the whole series now. Okay. I know that's a lot of a lot of happy mail. So fabric floss charts, needle minders, thread. I did say floss. Um uh, I've gotten fabric from Rita Reen's cross stitch fabrics on Facebook uh, a couple times recently. Got some 18 count beige, some uh, 14 count antique white. So, um, just this is just Ada, but I got two yards of the white. I got one yard of the 18 count beige, which I've been hacking off. That sounded weird. Um, Anyway, got that. Mm. Last thing I'm going to show you is not Happy Mail related, so it, it's not cross stitch related. Kind of is, but kind of isn't. Um, so if you don't want to see it, you don't have to. And uh, if you just came for the Happy Mail, I'm glad you stuck around. And the next video will be all the whips. Not sure when I'm going to get to that. Um, I'd like to say today, but we'll see. Anyway. I hope I enabled you just a little. I always like to do that. And uh, if you don't want to stick around for this, then I'll see you next time. Otherwise, I'm going to show you this. Uh, this was done by my oh-so-talented, beyond-talented 15-year-old daughter. She is phenomenal in art. She really is. Yes, I'm biased. But it's not just me saying she's phenomenal. So... Anyway, um, back, little boys back when there was the kerfuffle in Mania about, uh, just the drama, about people not liking certain types of cross-stitch, certain, and raising their opinions and causing issues, and anyway, Garrett had made a joke about giraffes, you know, he may like stitching giraffes, or he may not mind you stitching a giraffe, but if you stitched a giraffe on a skateboard, his father was killed by a giraffe riding a skateboard. Obviously, he was being funny. And, um, you know, we, you, he may not like it, but he's not going to ban you from the group kind of thing. And it just became this running joke of giraffes riding skateboards. And, uh, yes, there is a chart of a giraffe riding a skateboard. Uh, Kim mentioned to Katie at market. I wasn't able to find you a chart. It's just become this running joke. So I, I mentioned to Hope, I said, I would like you to draw me a giraffe riding a skateboard at your art class on Saturdays. And, um, can you put in a couple little extra references to Doctor Who and the Wizard of Oz, Katie and Garrett? Um, and she did. Ready? Here it is. I am showing off her oh so fabulous artwork. So there is the giraffe. He has the the scarf from the fourth doctor and the uh, Union Jack skateboard. And there's Toto. So so art related. If um you or anyone else you know follows art. Hope's Deviant Art account is Sky Phoenix 401 So, that's where she puts off all of her art. So, showing that off. You're so pretty. Anyway, I'm biased. That's all the goodies I have to show you today. And I need to get some more work done. And get some stitching done. And get some laundry done. And all that good stuff. So... Have a marvelous Monday, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.